Hi, it's Chris in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. Holy smokes, we're talking about something totally different this week than last week. From completely clear, very cold conditions to very warm and rainy conditions. Um, here are four things that you need to know about your weather. It is going to be a rainy and breezy night. Wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Boy, that windy um rainy warm weather just eats up that snow more rain on tuesday night uh then highs tomorrow will be in the mid 50s rising rivers and streams as a result of all that melting snow and rain i just want to show you our almanac uh today 51 our high so far that's as of five o'clock we could still well no i think we're done for the day we're going to be even warmer tomorrow we started the day off at 36 obviously both temperatures well above average and so very different than what they were yesterday uh sunset tonight was at 5 34. we've picked up almost three quarters of an inch of rain out at the airport uh impressive rainfall total and they're still falling thanks to an atmospheric river easy to pick out we used to call it a pineapple express i think atmospheric river is probably more appropriate they had record shattering rain over on the west side heavy rain in the cascades and uh closures on Snoqualmie and Stevens Pass today. Forecast radar keeps the rain going overnight and then we get a break for most of the day on Tuesday. Tuesday night, the next slug of moisture coming in looks like the heaviest precipitation will be concentrated down onto the Palouse. And then more rain on the way on Wednesday. It is just going to keep coming. Um, the heaviest precipitation found over the mountains as uh, you can see here here. We're going to lose a little snowpack tomorrow, not as much on Wednesday as we bring in slightly cooler weather. Lows tonight are not going to be cool. We're going to be in the mid 40s. Uh, that's about where our average high is. It's actually a little warmer than our average high. Tomorrow we are going to be up in the 50s and 60s in many locations, upper 40s for Bonners Ferry and Sandpoint. Here's a look at your seven day forecast and we'll have ch showers tomorrow tomorrow but we'll also get some good breaks rain coming in tuesday night with more rain on wednesday showers on thursday snow level keeps dropping a little bit and then um, looks like we're drying out for the most part as we get into the weekend but temperatures right about average uh, boy it has not been a dull last couple of weeks here in the weather office um, we'll keep you updated there are some flood watches in effect um, in north idaho anytime you melt a lot of mountain snow all at once and add that heavy rain at times to it uh, you can run into problems we'll keep you updated on that but also that is a real good reason to have that um, first alert weather app with you That'll keep you safe when uh, you can't check in with us. Uh, take care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.